Hi everybody, it's Lisa, Twyla's mom, and yes, I'm back. Oh, this lighting is terrible. Uh, that's a little bit better, yeah. We um, have very cloudy skies and we are expecting uh, big thunderstorms tonight and to into tomorrow morning and then possibly again on Thursday night, yeah. So, this is my laundry chit chat um that you guys have been wondering where i've been yeah <laughs> let's bring it down just a little bit okay and hi there's my hand anyway i'm gonna fold some laundry while we have a chat um i'll tell you the past week week and a half it has been crazy in this household crazy um for starters i kind of got a little bit of a cold last weekend um well two weekends ago because if you say last weekend that would be this past saturday but anyway about 10 11 days ago i got a little bit of a cold and it just kind of really wore me out so i called in on sunday night well, I'll tell you, it's a darn good thing I did because my son, Devin, who is 30 years old, um, early Monday morning, he had a heart attack. I know, 30 years old, and he had a heart attack. Well, it wasn't your typical heart attack, you know, where people have... Um, arteries blocked and things like that it was um, his heart you know how who is this is this is twilight you know how everyone and everyone does this evidently um, your heart will kind of flutter and some people will notice it and some people don't notice it as I get older, once in a while, I'll feel my heart do a little flutter. And But the doctor said everything's fine. Um, anyway, with, Mar with Devin, his heart did this, but it was such an extreme one that it could not get back regular beating, and it just stopped. Oh, my goodness. He was driving at the time. His wife, think, thankfully, was with him, and they weren't going very fast. They were just going on a little two-lane street, but it did have a guardrail, and he went into the guardrail. Anyway, they had to put him on... Um, he was on life support for a few days, and, uh, yeah, it was, it was a rough week last week for me. Uh, I, I was at the hospital every day, and um, thankfully I had enough vacation to cover last week, and then the two days this week that I took off, my boss just gave it to me with no pay. Um, but they, what they ended up doing was, on this past Monday, because today's Wednesday, on Monday, they, they put in a defibrillator to keep that from happening again. And, um, yeah, it, 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 was, it was a bad week. It was a bad week. Um, and my days ran together last week, and the, everything the doctors would tell us, I, I don't even remember everything because... It was just surreal to, you know, see your child like that. Um, for me, I just kept thinking to myself, he's only 30 years old. He, you know, this, this isn't possible um, because he, he's a big, he's a big boy. He stands... Oh, I want to say six three something. He's over six foot, and he's a, he's about three hundred pounds. So you know, he his eating habits are not that great. <laughs> uh, 
but him and his wife have been working together this past year on losing some weight. So he has lost some weight. And about every other day, she said they, they've been doing walks and, you know, going to the gym and things like that. Um, now, he does have high blood pressure, but he he's had that for a couple of years now. And that's that's due to his weight. Um, so he is trying to take that take control of that. But he doesn't smoke. He doesn't drink. He doesn't chew. He doesn't. You know, he's not a big sweet eater or anything like that. He just likes his big portions, yeah. But, anyway, he is great. He's home now, which just floored me when they said that he could go home as quickly as he did. I was like, now wait a minute, my son had to be life flighted to the hospital. They had to defibrillate him three times, three times, before they could get his heart to hold a beat, you know, steady enough to, you know. They had to heavily sedate him because they were worried that he would wake up and um, he had the vent ventilator tube, you know, and everything. So it was just, why is he going home so early? But the doctor was, you know, he's like, he's fine now. The defibrillator did its job. It, it's doing what it needs to do. This is what he need, He has to have, and he'll be fine. And then he follows up with, you know, a cardiologist in his hometown and things like that. And um, then... Uh, and get on a stricter diet and stuff like that but because he had no clogged arteries he has no clogged arteries whatsoever they said those were fine and his heart did actually look pretty healthy so they're not quite sure how or why this happened um, like I said he's he's a bigger boy and everything so maybe you know that but yeah, they said his heart looked pretty good and everything. They just, it was one of those things that happens. So, yeah. So, anyway, that's my big stuff for last week. <laughs> it was, it, it really, oh my. Uh. Now, me and Devin, um, We uh, kind of uh, had a tiff a few years ago, and it kind of put a little bit of a wedge between us, but I think this is kind of what broke the ice to get that wedge, you know, gone. Um, but I'm not going to get into that. Other than that, I do have a couple of happy news, a couple Twyla, we talked a few weeks back about her um, needing to find an adult doctor and to get her Remicade treatments transferred down here to Clinton. We've gotten all of that done. There's a doc internal medicine doctor here in Clinton that um, he doesn't take anyone under the age of 20. But when I explained to his receptionist, you know, we we need Twyla to, you know, kind of take her care over because she is 18. I said um, she's going to be going to school, college and everything, and uh, I need her to kind of not take it over, but, you know, be more... Uh, like setting up her own doctor's appointments and remembering when her Remicade is due and stuff like that. We need her to, to start taking the reins, you know, because this is Crohn's disease. She'll have that for the rest of her life. So anyway, she went to the doctor, talked to him, 
explain to him that, you know, she's 18, her mom and dad think that um, she should start, you know, taking over her own health care and things like that, and, um, but they are concerned about her driving in the city. They don't want her to have to go through that. And because Twyla doesn't really have a lot of issues with her Crohn's disease, as long as her Remicade is where it needs to be and the dosage and everything like that, Twyla does, is very well with her Crohn's. This doctor said yes. He said, we will see her, we will take her, and uh, we have a consultation meeting at the end of May. And hopefully, cross your fingers that they both click. Twyla likes him and, you know, and everything because he didn't have to take her. His rule is patients under 20, you know, he does not see. But he decided he would go ahead and take Twyla. So that that is, oh, that's a burden lifted off of us because her Remicade in June will be here in Clinton because they won't take anyone until they're 18. But um, her last Remicade is next Friday at, at the Children's Hospital in the city. And that will probably be the last time we go up there, unless, unless she does have an issue that doctor, this new doctor um, needs to send her somewhere to, you know, be looked at for an MRI or something like that. So, you know, that that was really great news. We we got that all settled and yeah, we're very happy. Then our second piece of good news is my husband applied for a new job and uh, he's been wanting to work at this particular place for a long time, but he just, they, they either didn't need anybody at the time or they had too many applications that were in and he'd get pushed back and everything like that. He got a phone call on Friday while we were visiting our son and uh, he starts on May 21st. He starts this new job, which he really, really was excited to get. And, um, yeah. So, he still had two weeks vacation coming to him from his old job. So, he went ahead and put in for his two weeks vacation right along with his two weeks notice. So, <laughs> it's very, very exciting news because... Where he works right now is pretty dirty. It's hot. It's it's a hard, hard job to have. It's very physically demanding on his knees and his back. So, yeah, we're really, really excited about his new job. But um, that, that took up the bulk of my week last week was Devin. Uh, with his heart attack and it seems so strange saying heart attack because like I said he's only 30 but um, that's what they're calling it because his heart did stop um, but he's he's home he went home yesterday his defibrillator did well overnight it did what it was supposed to do and everything he <laughs> You wouldn't have even had known on Sunday when we, when we went up to visit him that anything had happened. I thought I heard a car door. <laughs> you wouldn't have even known that anything had happened. He was up walking around. He was eating, you know, and everything else. And we're like, gosh, wow. Miracles happen. Miracles happen. Uh, if his wife hadn't have been with him, we would have lost him. Um, because she was, she was smart. She put the car in neutral. She got the car under control after he passed out. And, uh, she pulled him out of the car, put 911 on speakerphone while she was doing his chest compressions. Um, 
and yeah, she, she, oh, we thank God that Sarah was with him. Um, another uh, note I would like to say, um, which this isn't, this isn't good news, it's kind of sad, but I want us all to um, give a, a little prayer uh, for a dear friend that we have here on YouTube. Her name is Virginia. Most of you uh, probably know her. Her channel is vconnor711. Um, she lost her dear sweet Wayne this past, last week she lost him and um, we just all need to uh, send her our love, prayers, thoughts, and everything like that. If um, if you are subscribed to her, maybe go to the last video that she wrote, you know, that she made, and, or um, I think her email is on her videos. Just maybe send her a little email or something. And um, Virginia, we all love you. And we're thinking of you, and we're we're with you in this hard times and everything. Virginia's had a really rough year, so we need to send her lots of love, lots of hugs, and everything else. So, um, but yeah, uh, it's been a really, really crazy week. <laughs> but um, I'm hoping that um, when Twyla graduates, which is next weekend, I'm hoping that my household is going to settle down. It needs to settle down because oh, I can't take it anymore. I can't take all these. <laughs> I like to be on a schedule and when things like this uh, kind of disrupt it. It's craziness. Yeah. And it, it kind of drives me nuts. But, I mean, it wasn't anybody's fault last week. But, you know, how... And then Twyla's graduation. Oh my gosh, there's so much to do for that and everything else. But, one day at a time, one step at a time, and it will all get done. And I'm hoping I will be able to get back on a normal schedule with my YouTube also. So, anyway, it's time for me to start this washer now. I've got a load of jeans in there. I've already folded what was in the dryer. So, I'm going to start the washer. Um, and uh, I think I'm going to get off of here now. Yeah, so... Thank you, everybody. Um, Diane, thank you for sending me an email and checking on me to find out how it was doing and everything because I hadn't been on for a while. So thank you, Diane, for that. Um, I've got friend mail. I've got friend mail. I've got friend mail. I've got to. I've got to take care of that. Um, I've got friend mail that uh, two packages I think that are from Easter. Mm -hmm. I've got to, I've got to, oh, I'm terrible, I'm terrible, ugh, but anyway, I'm going to get off of here, I've rattled on and on, and that means I'm tired, and I need to go to bed, because I did go back to work last night, so, because <laughs> my baby boy is home, safe and sound, <laughs> so I hope you all have a wonderful day, don't forget to send Virginia our love, our prayers, and our thoughts, and don't forget to give a thumbs up and leave me a comment. You know I love to hear from each and every one of you. I'll talk to you later. Bye.